What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another video. We're still talking about the two player pedestal as suddenly I'm getting a lot of requests. People are asking me about the size and dimensions of this. This right here clocked in with the countertop, the control panel up top here, 40 inches tall, 32 inches wide, 11 and a half inches deep. So that's the two player control panel. Also, I'm making this quick video to show you my height compared to actually resting on it because people think that you have to bend over to play it. No, this is perfect height. I was just playing some Street Fighter. I got my ass kicked, but playing some Street Fighter. I'm gonna drop the camera real quick just to show you how I stand and how it plays and all that. Luckily with the pie image that we got, I do love the full screen stretch. I do like my 16 by nine resolutions as far as screen wise. I don't like the four by threes, it's too small. I don't mind the screen stretch. So this one right here, we are running a 16 by nine Street Fighter 2. I'm gonna put the camera down this way you can kind of see how it looks with me standing next to it. I'm about 5'11". At least you get a visual of how I look playing this standing up. Again, no stool needed. I did try to sit down with the stool. Didn't like it, it was too high now for me to sit on a stool. This to me, when you play in an arcade game, it's really meant to stand up. So I'm gonna drop the camera. Let's check out the height and compare it to me. Put a little volume on it. At least right now you don't see my head, but at least you kind of see the height and how it is when I control the panel. Again, very comfortable. Again, no arch in my back. I'm pretty, I'm stood up right next to it. Again, just to kind of see how the screen is compared to this, and you are getting my backside, but just to give you a demonstration of how you know tall I am, and as far as me trying to go hard with it and playing hard, As far as the zippy joysticks, I mean, they're pretty good. You do get, you know, the Hadoukens is the best way to kind of tell how the joystick is. Hadoukens and the, the spin kick, so at least you kind of see how that goes. So there you go. Nice and easy. Six o'clock to three o'clock. Make sure it connects. Six o'clock to nine o'clock is the spin kick. Again, well, control here. Again, I personally like the 16 by nine stretch. This is about a 45, I think 48 inch TV. Oh. <laughs> again, real quick to go over this one again. Um, I did have to do a little bit of tweaking. I did have to do a little bit of tweaking to Ryan's image because I, I don't know what happened, but I messed up the controllers. I went into RetroArch and I messed up all the controllers. So I had to do a little bit of a re-image on this. Um, we have it set up, he has it set up where you hold mode and then you can bring up the menu which then we can now save state the game if we wanted to so now it makes save state so if i wanted to load a game menu load state and now we're back so again just to give you a better example i'm going to load into a game live if i want to reload my game menu load state and we're back so I mean, we're not doing an actual button for save and load. I, I like doing it that way, but this kind of setup is pretty cool because in all honesty with this, you could even go in and actually change the video settings if you wanted to. So you going into the menu, um, you know, sometimes it's a good thing, meaning that you have more options, but if you go into the menu and you change like the setting configurations or the buttons or the inputs, it's a disaster. So I current, I personally don't like my customers going into this menu. Um, but with Ryan set up, that's how he has the buttons. And unfortunately the control panel has the wording on it. So you have to deal with it. But in all honesty, this is ready to go fully tested. Um, guy's going to pick it up next week. I told him I'm the type where when I sell these things, I want to make sure that it works. Um, you know, I do heavy on and off testing and playing a game, exit a game, play a game, exit a game. Cause I don't want to get a phone call from you saying, hey Vic, I plugged it in and now it doesn't load. I don't, I don't do that. So we built this, it was officially done and built on Saturday, it just passed. Now we're on Tuesday. Um, I even went in, we added the buttons, the button stickers to the actual buttons. So now this is totally complete. 
I'm gonna do a little bit more testing, but in all honesty, this is 99% complete and done. There you have it, guys. As far as highways on this, again, you're looking at about 40 inches up to here, right up to the control panel. It's about 39 to 40 inches. You got uh, 32 inches across and 11 and a half inches deep. LED'd out. The keyboard won't be there. The keyboard is to get into settings. But this, again, two-player control panel, done. Later.